Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Happy Wednesday to you. We're going to read for Taurus. I am going to begin phone. Hold on, I'm getting a message. Yeah. Uh, I have thought about this for a long time and um, I'm being prompted by my spirit guides and spirit to offer you personal readings just over the phone. I'd like them to be in 30 minute increments because I get exhausted. I'd like to offer something extra for the members, maybe like five minutes extra for free. So let me set things up. I already have a PayPal account. So that's right on the on the main banner of the home page. Yeah. Let me just work out the fine fine details. I was a little shocked when I was looking around at other places that offer um Reading some do it by text, some do it by phone. I, at the very least, want to do it by phone so that I can speak with you. Um, I've seen everything from one ninety nine a minute to five ninety nine a minute. I'm thinking more in the realm of a dollar a minute. I think that, um, and then five extra minutes for members, five extra free minutes members. Let me just set this up though. We're going to read for Taurus right away and then I'm going to read for Taurus love connections for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So let me concentrate on Taurus right now. Taurus. Taurus, come through. Four of Wands. This was part of the energy, the energy card yesterday. Do you remember? To the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. And King of Wands. Speaking of beautiful, Six of Swords. I love it. It's in the middle of your reading, Seven of Pentacles. That investment. Ace of Swords. Great. The full card. Going from the chaotic into the sublime, so you take a leap of faith. And no matter what, we have our firm foundation no longer in the defensive posture. And then the beautiful queen of pentacles, the hostess with mostess. The card energy that informs this reading is the four of swords, a beautiful car, card of respite, respite, recharging our batteries, reclaiming our energy. Let me ask for clarification, please. Clarification, please. Clarification, please. Okay. So let's clarify the Four of Wands for Taurus, the Aries energy of the Emperor. Absolutely. Oh, and here we go. A tower event did occur. But you see, this tower event, no matter how strong it is, is not strong enough to dis disrupt this Four of Wands energy. When we see within the Four of Wands, we have the 1111 divine Divine connection. I'll put this to the side. 
Lastly, we have this Aquarian energy of the star, the star card. My goodness. So we, we have the energy of the star, the Aquarian energy, and the emperor. This is, again, I say, um, someone here has that star quality. I don't know, I'll put this just to the side to remind us we're doing with. Someone has like a star quality about them. Um, they are noticed wherever they go. They have, um, I don't want to say a following, it, It's all, but it, it's a star presence. It's a star presence. It's taken them a long time. See, it's this part of this investment, investment in this connection. And they've had to go into this, uh, this Aries energy. It's interesting because as I tap into this energy, yes, it the um, the emperor could be very direct, um, very. If you didn't know their personality better, it almost seemed bossy or almost like a bullying. But what it is is I know what it is I want, and I'm calling it forth. I'm calling it forth. I'm manifesting it. And there's no wishy-washiness. So I'm happy to see the Aries Emperor here. With this comes also a great deal of loyalty, intelligence. So yes, Emperor is here. We have the Ten of Pentacles coming forth. But it doesn't come easy. You know it doesn't come easy. So how do you get the Ten of Pentacles? Because one of you has the Five of Pentacles, the other person has the Five of Pentacles. One of the most melancholy type feeling cards, feeling ghosted, feeling alone, Five of Pentacles. But together, they make Ten of Pentacles, which creates a foundation for a beautiful, sustainable life together. Let's go further with this. Yes, justice, this Libra energy of justice. Why? Because there have been many things within this connection that have been anything but fair, anything but even karmic. There's like karmic justice. Three of Pentacles shows up frequently for us here. And then anticipation. Three of Wands to the four. I'm anticipation. I'm anticipating this foundation. When I'm looking at this Three of Pentacles, though, I do realize that there are two people looking up to someone. So it says if someone is put on a pedestal, again with this star quality, someone is being noticed. Uh, people come together to seek their advice. Oh, there's teamwork, but it's, it's almost with this recognition that someone's in charge. Same with the emperor. He is in charge, so they're stepping forward, and they're. It's almost like they're claiming their. I'm claiming this connection. I'm claiming this property, this territory. Um, this is like the emperor looks out onto their kingdom. They claim their kingdom. The king of wands, very interesting fellow, excellent leader. Um, excellent. What what makes a good leader though? Not only do they have very good ideas, they're able to read a blueprint, those things that are in fine tune that not everyone are, you know, is able to pick up, but also they know they look good. And they are married to who? The Queen of Wands, who she looks very good. So it's a power couple that we're talking again. The King of Pentacles, very near to his dear queen. We're talking about, especially with this Ten of Pentacles, sustainability, safety, um, not, not easily flustered, um, stepping into their power. Why? Because you all are the Hierophant. Taurus, it's beautiful. Just as we're talking about stepping into your power, here comes the Hierophant. This is confirmation. For you to know that you are tapping into um, a treasure, 
a treasure of intellect, intuition. And with it, you're going to be able to help people. And that's the best thing of all. Speaking of that, two of cups just showed up. They know you're the Hierophant. They know you have that great Taurian energy of the King of Pentacles. And they need to meet you at your energy level. The Two of Cups right next to the Hierophant and Libra Justice card. What a beautiful way to begin. What a gorgeous way to begin this reading, Taurus. Okay, Six of Swords, taking everything that we've been through and not cursing it, not saying, why do things have to be so difficult? No, we're taking everything that we've been through as a learning lesson. We're taking it with us and going from the choppy waters into the sublime. And talking about sublime here is the Queen of Wands. We're speaking about her husband and there she shows up. Talking about direct, some enchanted evening, you will meet a stranger across a crowded room. And like the Queen of Wands, you're going to stand up and point with your wand and say, you, you are the one I'm going to hand this sunflower to. Very direct, knows what she wants, knows how to get it. Speaking of knows what they want, I wouldn't be surprised to see the Hermit card come out. The moon is, is part of our energy here because there are still things that we're discovering about ourselves and each other. It's taken a long time to get this far even. That's why we have the Wounded Warrior pose of the Nine of Wands. Sometimes it feels like... Sometimes I feel like a motherless child, like someone has just left me alone here to wait and wait and wait. But we know that the victory is coming soon. That's why it gives us that this Ace of Swords, the inspiration. The, the, the investment has already been made through blood, sweat, and tears. From seven, seven of Pentacles to Seven of Swords. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if any of you have children or if you know sometimes how honest kids can be when honest, I mean, Frank, <laughs> they'll just say what's on the top of their, 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 their mind. Um, so when you work really hard, when you, and a child will say, you know what? I've been working really hard. I'm looking around for my, um, reward. Where's my, where's my reward? This is kind of this feeling I'm getting for the Seven of Swords. Like, I don't feel like um, the other person is connecting with me in the manner in which I expect and anticipate. So I'm, I might be just acting out once in a while, saying something, or just, just to get your attention, to make sure you're still interested in, and, quite frankly, available, because you are the Hierophant. This is a grand love. We're talking about majestic, regal, royal, king of cups. That great old-fashioned love story. And here we go. Six of pentacles. In between the queen of wands and the king of cups, six of pentacles. Things must be fair. Talking about the, this Libra energy of justice. Things must be fair. And a fair amount of attention and affection coming your way. No longer with that five of pentacles feeling ghosted. I keep on hearing ghosted the mosted. Ace of swords. There's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be like an aha moment, a eureka moment. And it's going to happen. We're in anticipation for it. Why? Because we have been manifesting it. You're talking about the Grand Manifester right here. The Queen of Wands is, is recognized as the Grand Manifester. Oh my gosh. Something is in, in the... Okay. <laughs> the, the Lover's Card. Gemini Energy. There, some, something is really moving. Something is on the motion here. What else? The Sun. <laughs> I love it. The manifestation of my lover coming forward and is the happiest card of the tarot deck with a new beginning. See how the baby saying brand new beginning, naked as a jaybird, brand new beginning. 
I'm going to take this leap of faith. Oh, it's taken so much strength. It has taken so much strength. I keep on wishing on my star, building that foundation, going towards my nine of cups. Sometimes it feels like I'm going too slowly, but this person has a torch. This person has a crush on you. They are, they are going towards you. I've got a crush on you, sweetie pie. And I'm going to my wish fulfillment right here. I'm going to take that leap of faith. But for sure, it's taken a lot of strength. I kid you not, it's taken a lot of strength. Look at all that beautiful gold, all of these sun. Our Archangel Raphael blessing the lovers. No longer in the defense mode. I'm not going to defend. I'm not going to defend this um, connection any longer because I know it's the Six of Cups. I feel you at a cellular level. My soul recognizes you. And we're going to the Ten of Cups. From the Six of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Do you see how the Ten of Cups almost... It's like an umbrella. of uh, It's like a shield of protection. Talking about protection from the King of Pentacles. A shield of protection. I'm not going to let anything hurt, hurt you. Nothing's going to harm you. Not while I'm around. The Ace of Wands. Like, um, I'm, I'm carrying a torch for you. With that, if you do use it as a torch, you can light it on fire because this fire energy is a flame. There is a lot of passion going on in this reading. But you can light this torch on fire and utilize it to find those hidden roadblocks that have been put in the way of the manifestations. Move those roadblocks out of the way and judgment. Look at their, they have their, their arms are stretched out. Come and pick me up. This judgment card, second chances, love ascension. Now let's go to our beautiful hostess, the queen of pentacles. Yep, she's not, she's not, she's not, um, what do you think, suffering any fools. No foolish behavior around her. All of these, um, like, capricious little attitudes that occur once in a while. Sorry about that. Uh, she, she won't have it in her house. When you come into her house, um, I hear someone say, take your shoes off. Take your shoes off at the door. Don't bring the the muck and, and mud from outside into our pristine foundation or our home five of swords someone really wants to give you an apology but why because they have been up in their mind with some conflict they have had some conflict some worries but that devil is in reverse that devil is being tamed no more in the defensive posture what a beautiful reading, but not without some strife, not without some exhaustion too. And that's why it's so smart of you, so smart of you to go into the Four of Swords energy, meditate, manifestate, manifest, use your manifestations, use your meditations. <sighs> Just oh, one more card from the bottom. The world, the world is changing. The world is turning. This chapter is ending. Some chapter is ending and a new world is beginning. You see the four fixed signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. There are also the, the four faces of the tetramorphs from Ezekiel. It, they protect. Please know that you're guarded and protected here. Let me take a break and then I'm going to come back and do some... Um, messages for these soulmates here. Okay, I'll be right back. Bye-bye. 